Hello, and thanks for joining me while I paint this flower for my garden. I started off by coating my canvas with burnt sienna and letting it dry before applying the first color layer. This time I didn't make a pre-sketch and I just went in freehand. to start with a blank white background and then sketch out the shapes, but that method ended up taking my paintings much longer because of how many layers I needed to apply to get the rich colors I needed. Having the burnt sienna there really helps give more depth to the colors from the very first layer. And that's the final painting. I actually prefer it hung in a diamond. I like the aesthetic a lot more. It makes the space a little more interesting. I made a garden flower painting in the summer a while back when the garden was still flourishing and now that the cold weather has arrived, it's slowly fading away. I've been enjoying fresh garden vegetables and herbs pretty much all summer. I grew a variety of different food this year and I'm really gonna miss waking up every morning to water the garden but I'll still get to enjoy some of the summer fruits this winter because I canned some tomato sauce and pickles and I've been drying herbs for tea and cooking. I love to make tea with peppermint and lavender from the garden. I also wanted to let you guys know that there's a new print in my art store of my painting Fluid, which I finally finished after two years. The prints have been color matched to the originals. I love how vivid, bright, and detailed they are. I'm also sending your prints off with little stickers of my droplet paintings. The painting you watch come to life today will be in my art store, along with a bunch of other originals, including paintings from my recent videos, as well as some of my older work at lower prices. I hope you guys find a painting you like, and I'm so excited to send it to you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to see more art videos from me, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.